National Taiwan University Hospital says that its nasal spray vaccine candidate is effective against the Delta variant. So far, the spray has only been tested on mice. But it's shown promise against the Delta variant, including IgA antibodies that can block the virus from spreading into the, into the lungs. Around the world, at least seven pharma firms are developing a nasal spray COVID vaccine. National Taiwan University Hospital is also working on one of its own. On Tuesday, it announced promising early results. During animal trials, mice giving the nasal spray developed neutralizing antibodies and IgA antibodies against COVID. One of our adjuvants is very effective on mucous membranes in mice when applied together with spike proteins. We have evidence that its effectiveness is not lower than that of other vaccines in the market. It can also produce IgA antibodies. In theory, it would be able to reduce viral spread. The spray is made of a proprietary mucosal adjuvant that's added to compounds that already exist. Animal trials showed it to be effective at combating the Delta COVID variant. It produced neutralizing antibody levels comparable to traditional vaccine injections. It also induced a high level of IgA antibodies. IgA antibodies are mainly found in areas of the upper respiratory tract, such as the nasal cavity, the throat, and the windpipe. They can prevent viruses from reaching the lungs, effectively reducing the risk of viral infection. You know, IgA, of course, if you have IgA antibodies, of course, a breakthrough infection is less likely. At least, the viral load on your upper windpipe would be lower. As for the age range the vaccines can be used on, that will have to wait until after clinical trials. In the U.S., there are nasal spray flu vaccines that are used on children and up to the age of 49. So this kind of nasal spray vaccine is not without precedent abroad. They can be used on children. The downside is that they are a little more expensive than other vaccines. To bring the nasal spray to market, NTU Hospital plans to transfer the technology to a private developer for further development and potentially human trials.